I'm incredibly excited to introduce to you Microsoft HoloLens. Incredible. We're so excited. The team put so much into this. We can't wait to share it with you. Windows 11. Modern, fresh, clean, beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you like the intro to this video. As you can tell from the intro and from the title of this video, today we're going to be looking at the HoloLens and Windows 11. With the release of Windows 11, we see a lot of dramatic UI changes with the PC version of Windows. So today we're going to be looking at how Windows 11 may change the look of HoloLens since the HoloLens uses Windows 10, the same platform that most of our computers today are running off of. So with the release of Windows 11, we could see some pretty dramatic changes to the UI on the HoloLens. So today we're going to be looking at some things that we may see in the HoloLens and what kind of changes we should expect to experience with the release of Windows 11 on the HoloLens. Let's get into it. As of right now, we don't have a whole lot of information to go off of on what HoloLens is going to look like with Windows 11. So the best I can do right now is tell you what I think my predictions are going to be and some theories that the community has. The first thing that I think may be changed is going to be the homepage for the holograms in order to access all of your different apps and to access your holograms, that home window. Uh, normally with the HoloLens 1, we used to use the bloom hand gesture to open it. Now we just tap on our wrist, but the actual look of that panel has stayed the same over the entire course of Windows 10. So I think with the introduction of Windows 11, we may see some changes here and maybe it'll be modern, fresh, clean, beautiful. Another super important key feature that I think is going to be added is the releasing of Microsoft Mesh. They just released this Microsoft Mesh platform that's going to integrate VR users, AR users, and basically everything in between in order to create a platform that allows us to all communicate each other virtually while working on projects, doing a bunch of other things. So I think this Microsoft Mesh is going to be integrated into Windows 11 as we've seen in the demo of Microsoft Mesh, them integrating Microsoft Teams into the platform. So I think that with the integration of Microsoft Teams in Windows 11 and then that transferring to the HoloLens, that everything is going to be integrated. I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but it's a lot of integration. Microsoft has done a lot to make things as easy as possible to communicate with each other on multiple different Windows platforms. So hopefully we should be able to see more communication between different types of Windows platforms with the release of Windows 11 on the HoloLens. One of the other major Windows 11 features is the introduction of some AI widgets and new features surrounding the widgets on the desktop version of Windows 11. So I think with Windows 11 going on HoloLens, we might see some holographic widgets. And I feel like that'd be really cool to see and get more information about, let's say, the weather and maybe see uh, a weather uh, app in 3D uh, hologram on your view while you're working. I feel like that'd be a really cool way to introduce widgets into the HoloLens is by creating little uh, 3D holograms uh, and putting kind of widget-like things in there. So I think that that's going to be a really cool feature that we might see with Windows 11 on the HoloLens. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. If you guys want to learn more about what Windows 10 might be like on the HoloLens, want to stay updated with Windows 10, stay updated with things with HoloLens, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, I do have a few series going on uh, with the HoloLens, so if you want to check those out, make sure to check out my channel page and look at some of those videos. Thank you for sticking around and see you in the next one.